Phillies are out and will be parading in just a moment for the second race. Three more automatically qualify for the final. Front three finishers will be in the $60,000 final. And here they are for race number two with no changes. One is Fox Valley Grace, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breds of Sherman by Bob Buddig of Joliet. Tony Alanya trains Dale Heitman is driving. Two is Bonus Baby, owned by Stan Miller of Etna Green, Indiana. He trains and Sam Widger is up. Three Source of Elegance, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Springfield. Jerry Logan, the trainer and driver. Four Shocking Surprise, owned by the Old Time Elk Stable, Frankfort, Illinois. Doug Hamilton trains Dave McGee, gets a call. Five No Funny Stuff, owned by Lynn and Barbara Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana. Brett Wilfong trains Andy Miller in the bike. Six Hustle Home, owned by Jack and Bonnie James of Mattoon. Jack James, the trainer driver. Seven Bridle the Wind, also from Charleston, owned by Sue and Paul Phillips. Paul Phillips trains. Paul is in the bike. Eight Bit O'Honey, owned by Brian Phillips of O'Fallon, Missouri. Tom Bussey, the trainer, and Tom, the driver. Field due at the gate in four minutes. Four minutes. Hustle home well off the gate. Gate picks up speed, and here they come. They're off and trotting on the outside. Quickly bridle the wind for the lead out fast also as they drive toward the turn. There's no funny stuff, but on the inside. Bonus Baby away quickest of all. She'll lead them as they drive that way. Bonus Baby by a length and a half. No funny stuff. will drop in. Get the trip for Andy Miller. Third on the outside. Bridle the wind. Hunting cover for Paul Phillips. Not finding it. Fourth on the inside is Fox Valley Grace. Along the rail getting out five. Still there is Hustle Home. Racing six. Beto Honey. Trotting seven. Source of Elegance. At the back of the field is Shocking Surprise. They've just roll past the quarter. That marker in 29-2. They're on the back stretch trotting toward the half mile mark. As they straighten down the backside, they're being led by a length and a half by Bonus Baby. Stalking the leader second as they straighten that way is no funny stuff. Bridle the wind found room. She dropped in third for Paul Phillips. Fourth on the inside is Fox Valley Grace. Trotting five, Hustle Home. Still six, Bit Honey. Way back seven as they advance toward the half mile marker is Source of Elegance. And as they reach the half, shocking surprise can see them all. They've just rolled past the half. A minute flat. They're racing toward the draw gate. To the outside. There goes no funny stuff. She bulls her way to the front as they reach the draw gate. She's on top now for Miller. Looking for the double. He has a length and a half advantage. Here comes Bridle the Wind off the rail. Full of trot for Paul Phillips. She's ranging up now. Second on the outside. Shuffle back on the inside. Third. Bonus Baby with trot. Here comes Fox Valley Grace. Fourth. Racing five. Hustle home. Six at the three quarter is Biddle Honey and Bridle the Wind determined is alongside the leader, and the leader past three quarters, still no funny stuff. There in 1.30 and 3 in the final quarter mile, no funny stuff on the inside being tested by Bridle, the wind, and Paul Phillips on the outside. And the final going, no funny stuff, responds for Miller. She has now a two-length lead. From way back on the move, here comes Hustle home with a late rush. Jack James, middle of the racetrack, flying to the wire, but they won't catch the leader to the wire, no funny stuff, and a commanding six-length advantage at the wire no funny stuff and home second hustle home third was bridal a win four bit of honey five to bonus baby six was fox valley grace seven source of elegance or shocking surprise that's a photo for seven eight one fifty nine four no funny stuff started his career in the standard bread business when he was about 14 years old by accompanying his father daily to his workplace in Altamont, illinois where he worked at a breeding farm andy would spend his days at the Effingham County Fairgrounds. At that time, little did anyone know that he soon would become one of the leading drivers in the nation. For the past three weeks, the Horseman and Fair World magazine has had Andy Miller rated as a number one performer of the week in North America. Today, he's got the double. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Andy Miller. And back in the winner's circle with a trotting three-year-old filly. This time it's the Lynn and Barbara Wilfong owned No Funny Stuff. Bred by the owners Wilfong. Trained by Brett who joins the winning filly there along with the Wilfong family. Of course the name Wilfong in Indiana racing is part of the Indiana racing lore. As a Wilfong family with Uncle Ralph Wilfong now deceased having been such a main 
longtime supporter of racing in that great state. And now for a word from the winning trainer, here's Kurt Becker. All right, Carl, we're, we've got Brett Wilfong, and he's a busy man today, so we're not going to keep him too long. But, Brett, it's kind of a bittersweet afternoon, you were telling us. Tell us why. Well, the Bobo Arrow, this filly's grandfather, and Valboski's grandfather, passed away last night at the age of 28 at our farm. And it was kind of sad, but it's kind of good to see his offspring carry on and win here at the state fair. And we, we raised... Valboski's family and we've raised uh, no gimmicks here the dam and no funny stuff and we're proud of them. and you should be and Brett's referring to the fact that Valboski won the last race yesterday an elimination of the two-year-old pace and the Will Fong family bred that colt Brett you got a busy day ahead of you we'll let you get going congratulations thank you very much one more That's word Brett Will Fong. one more word Brett before you leave you remember a number of years ago at the Indiana State Fair and he can't hear me Brett was driving. You remember a spectacular accident at the Indiana State Fair? This man was in the middle of about a 16-horse field. They went down, and Brett would try to get to his feet and would be hit by another horse probably five or six times that day, and most of the fans that day believed that there was little chance you could survive it. Survive it, he did, and he's back in the winner's circle. Brett Wilfong, very that, good that, performance that day and, and a lot that of That was after. a painful day, Carl. I, f I still feel that in my shoulders. <laughs> but the pain has subsided now with that victory back upstairs. <laughs>